Wash Gary It's your boy SM TV Jersey here. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been waking up with cold sweats over making this video. I done waited for about two patches. I waited for two whole patches to make this video. I was gonna make it the week they released the game. But I was like, nah. Let me wait a little bit. And man, the game ain't getting no better, so I'm going to have to make this review video this week. Alright. So if you have to make a day one patch, buffing speed of professional athletes, bro, your game is garbage. Your game is doo-doo. Alright, but I ain't, I ain't going to be like that. I'm going to talk about good things, I'm going to talk about bad things. Alright. So. Come on. I'm not about to let Ben Simmons go crazy. Man. No, Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons ain't about to, Ben Simmons ain't about to be guarded by Rondo now. But like I was saying. Okay, so day one, day one. Most people couldn't even finish downloading the game because it was, bruh, because it was 70 something gigabytes. That is absurd. For the amount of things they did in this game, which is literally not a damn thing, that's crazy. They did nothing. How? Just, I don't. I don't get how they do nothing, but it's 73 gigabytes. The gameplay exactly like 2K19. Except they did something with momentum and only like a select people know how to do it. And I have to watch a video on it because I need to learn how to do it. But only a select people know how to do it. Which makes it kind of intriguing when you go and like see somebody do it. Right? Because I know the way that you did it in 2K19 is not how you do it. Because I've been doing the inputs for it and it's not doing no momentum. It'll do the momentum like snatchback or like momentum like little sham got I'm guessing from 18. Whenever you do it that way. That's pretty annoying. But. Dang, I didn't know you had Joe Harris as well. Um. But with that being said, you know, let's get on to what I really want to talk about. Okay. Why does this keep happening? Okay. So sum up with Play Now Online. <laughs> Can't even run a game and Play Now Online. That's crazy. I didn't even know this issue was in the game. But I'm glad I got footage of it. We're going to try this a few more times. And if it don't work, we probably just gonna go play against a bot. But uh, my career badges take so long. The my career badges take forever. They take so long. The my career badges. I have played twenty five. My career games, and I think I have two. I have two Hall of Fame badges and a couple gold badges. But I have went to every practice facility, and I have basically done nothing but sit there, press one button, and go straight to the rack. My streams are uploaded, so you can see how I play. Some of my streams are uploaded, right? You can see how I've been playing, and notice how I don't get no badges. Now, I swear to if this does this again, I'm going to fight somebody. Alright, we actually might actually get a game this time. Or not! Oh my god, okay. So as y'all can see, I can't even play Play Now Online to record this video. Which I normally do only to record these videos. Bruh, like, 
is everything in this game broke? I mean, my team, my team ain't really all that. I'm just gonna put a ring. You know, we gonna play with all time teams since I don't ever get to play with all time teams. Let's just throw out a random team. Yo, I forgot about the 2000s teams. Oh, yo, that's cold. I like that. Uh, we gonna play with the 10s team. Why the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, I am highly upset. The game, bruh, yeah, about my screen. Um, the thing I don't like. Okay, I get why they added WNBA, right? <laughs> Yo, how I know that? Uh, but the thing I don't like is, is if they're gonna have WNBA players, somebody's gonna wanna make a WNBA micro player. And now the fact that they can't do that, they're gonna get mad. But I understand why, because of like the rep rewards and some of the rep rewards like taking a shirt off, they don't want, they don't want them to be able to do that. But like, I, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know how I feel. But we gonna we gonna show y'all how I, how I play in my career. Hold up, I take this rock, I go right by him, and hey, just get that dunk. And I swear swear too, I don't be getting badges. I swear too. But like I was saying, um, like I was saying, um, slashers are OP this year. Slashers are OP. Now coming from me, that's a plus. But coming from everyone else, that's a that's a negative. So. From my biased opinion, that's good, but from everyone else's opinion, that's pretty bad. So, of course, I'm not going to give them a rating on, uh, you know, Slashers being OP as good because no one else but Slashers likes that. So I can't give them a good rating for that just because I like Slashers. So, of course, I have had my fair share of this game. I have got to a 90 overall in my career, and I've played a bunch of my team. Not enough to, to you know, talk about my team, but... So I'm not really going to talk about my team. I have played... I have not played a single game playing online, because you can't. But I have played against my brother, so I know, uh, like, how online I feel. I have played a little bit of Park. Not nothing crazy. I've played... I have not played a right game, but that's just because I couldn't find enough teammates to play a right game. So we're gonna talk about most of the game. We're gonna talk about most of the game. Okay. So we're gonna get on to my career. Now the my career story. Legitimately you have to make a second player if you wanna skip it, right? But the other thing is is the startup from when you start your player to getting into the NBA is four and a half hours long I kid you not my recording and I was basically speed running it my recording was four and a half hours long I fell asleep like four times after waiting so long oh so long to download it right I might hold on let me get that for the thumbnail <laughs> let me get that for the thumbnail real quick uh But, uh, oh my god, dude, Ron's face cam in this game is so crazy. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, though, it's four and a half hours long, which is absolutely crazy. No one, no one even wants to play that long. Like, other than people like me, people like Chris Move that actually, like, enjoy playing my career a little bit. Like, I enjoy it to an extent. There's an extent that I go through, like I, like I enjoy it, and then it gets to a point where I'm like, no, I, I'm done. Huh. Okay, wait, it is the same input, what? Why can't my player do it? I should've shot that. Um, but, let's see, what's the other thing I wanna say about my career? I already said badges. Um, defensive players are so aggravating. People like LB, Marcus Smart, Jimmy Butler, uh, Joel Embiid, off and on. Depends on his stamina, right? Um, let me think. Other defensive players. Even Russ sometimes. Even Russ sometimes. Um, 
Anyone with really high def like Rudy Gobert, Rudy Gobert, people like that. Is it really Rudy Gobert? What? Oh wait, I had to think for a second. This ain't a decade team. <laughs> I had to think for a second. Not a decade team. I had to think it wasn't a a, a historic jazz team because that first lineup it just made me think it was a historic jazz team because ain't nobody from the current jazz on that team. Yeah, that made that got me confused there for a second. Yeah, that is Rudy Gobert. Um. But, like, the thing that, the thing that, uh, bothered me the most about it was, if you watched one of my streams when I played against Marcus Smart, now, he wasn't locking me up till he felt like it. Like, I was playing straight up until, like, the fourth quarter. And then the fourth quarter, he wanted to play like an absolute god, and, uh, you know, clamp my everlasting existence, right? It was not fun, not even slightly. But then, when he started balling, everyone started playing defense. It was so annoying. People like Jason Tatum, who I was scoring on, like, the only person I was scoring on, were, were clamping me. Ah, Curry! 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 Um... The thing is, is I ain't made a shooting archetype, but from all the shooting archetypes that I've been around, that I've seen play, if it ain't green, it ain't going in. You can scratch your idea. If it ain't green, it ain't going in. Unless you have, like, 99 three-pointer and it's full bar, you got, a, you got like a 50% chance of making it. But if it, if it ain't green, it's not going in. That's all I gotta say. If you ain't if you ain't got sharpshooter attributes, man, if it ain't green, it's not going in. And look at that. I have sharpshooter takeover with Stephen Curry, the highest three-point shooter in the game, and he just clanked. I mean I know it was moving, but it's Stephen Curry though. He a guard. He's not gonna get every chance to shoot. Straight open. Ah. Bucket. Get a buck! Ah, okay, that would have been tough. But uh Um Little things like, you know, defensive players being absolute goats and stuff like that really ticks me off. I know it, sh I know it shouldn't because they're, they are defensive players, like I've been saying, but it just ticks me off. Like, they're so annoying. Patrick Beverly, Kawhi, and Paul George are on one team. So if you don't play for the Clippers, good luck. Um, Now, I play for the Miami Heat, so I ain't got to worry about Jimmy, but... That's just neither here nor there. But uh, let's see. The graphics for the game are pretty smooth. Okay, everyone. I haven't found a player yet that is real, like or at least plays a lot that doesn't look like kind of realistic. Some of them, some of them still got the old hairstyles, but like I know like a few. I mean, I think maybe one person or two people might have old hairstyles, but. Their face looks legit. Like, it doesn't look like trash anymore. But, um, we'll talk about the part of my team that I have played. My team is, like, broken, broken. Like, no one can really shoot. No one can shoot, um, consistently. Uh, the Evolution players, that is a big step. That is a big step in the way of ultimate team game modes not just like my team but ultimate team game modes in general I think that could be the way for any game evolution cards instead of for people who don't want to spend money on the game they can go play spotlight challenges get evolution Dwayne Wade or evolution whoever they want to come out with right and that's a free amethyst player it might take them the whole game to upgrade him but that's a free Amethyst player. So that's points in 2K's book. Which, by the way, at the end of the game, we're going to raid them on Agent... We're going we're gonna to raid them on, um, like, a scale. And the scale is going to be... I, I haven't decided what the scale is going to be. It's going to be 1 out of 10. But it's gonna. it might be 1 out of 10 Agent Beamstar faces or whatever. I don't know. But, uh... 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. 
and we're gonna do it on each specific thing, and then we're gonna do the game as a whole. I think I got an ad. I did have an ad. Okay, um, we're gonna do it on each specific thing. Oh yeah, bucket. Ah. I am playing on like pros, so don't don't take what I'm doing right now as as word. Um. So let's see, my career. My career. We have already finished my career. Now we're going to go into park. Park. Oh! Oh, I got a stretch block. Hey. I didn't know those were in the game. Yo. All right. I like that. I like that. Uh, my bad. I didn't mean to sound like a 12-year-old child again, but I love stretch blocks. Um, we're going to go on to park. Park is like uber laggy. And delayed. It could also just be me, but whenever I play park, whenever I played park, I, I I did fine. I wasn't lagging, but my everyone around me was, and people were getting kicked left and right. Like I haven't. I don't think I've played a game where I've had three teammates and three uh, opposing players. Like there's always been an AI player on one of the teams, which is sad, man. Because the game is the game. I mean, Park, they just increased the speed, so I haven't played Park since then. I haven't played Park since they increased the speed, the game speed of Park. But I heard they released, they, they fixed it. Like, I heard that Park speed is nice. And from watching, like, I'm Davis and them, it do look fine. But Park ain't really the wave this year. It's 3-on-3 three, three three pro out. If you're going for high rep, like, trying to, trying to get high rep, 3-on-3 three three pro out the wave. This is instant matchmaking, not instant matchmaking, but it's matchmaking. So you just you just go from one game to the next game. Now I do have a pro am team, but we ha we don't have enough members to do three on three pro am. We only have two right now, and I haven't started inviting people yet. But you know, once we get there, that's probably what we're gonna be doing. Um, So based on that, I can't talk about Rec, so I don't I can't give you anything about Rec. Or five on five Pro Am. I can't I mean I only know about three on three Pro Am because I've seen somebody play it and talk about how it's the way this year. Um let's go on to um We already talked about my team. That's I mean as much as I can talk about my team for because that's the most I've done. Oh, the other thing is the domination rewards. If you do it on All Star, you get an uh, Evolution player. I didn't know if I said that or not, but that is pretty good because for people like me who do domination, I can actually get like a Sapphire team because they can only go for Sapphire. But you know, I can get a free Sapphire team. That's pretty crazy to me. You guys have never been generous like that. Um, takeover this year. Some of the takeovers are pretty bad. Spot up shooter isn't the same. It's not the same. No one wants spot up shooter. Spot up shooter is not good. That's sharpshooter takeover. If you didn't know, like Curry has. Um, lockdown takeover. Dear Lord, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing on lockdowns this year. Um, what other takeovers? Pretty op. Uh, I have I have used playmaker takeover, and it's it's basically the exact same. They didn't do much with uh, Playmaker Takeover, but they did make it harder to get Playmaker Takeover. Like, you legitimately have to pass the ball. Uh, what about Slash and Takeover is doo-doo. It, it really is, unless you're playing my team. If you're playing Park, you don't want Slash or Takeover. You don't. Shot Creator Takeover is really good this year. Glass Cleaner Takeover is really good. Of course. I mean, those are those are pretty much basic ones. Post post score takeover I haven't seen yet, so I'll let you know, like in a later video. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about a patch or something. Maybe I'll do it on stream. But you no, know, I haven't come. I haven't come against a legit post score yet. So. Or in my career, no post scores got hot. So now that we're on to gameplay. Now we're gonna go on to gameplay. We already talked about graphics, we already talked about that. Uh, gameplay. 
gameplay slow clunky I don't like saying that it is though I mean it it is um but they did increase the speed so now it's no I don't feel that bad I might have either I might have got used to it or they did fix the speed it don't feel that bad I don't feel as wanting to throw up when playing playing this anymore so that's a big step up that's a big step up um but the thing about it is is it plays so much like 2k19 that i honestly wouldn't be surprised if they could just sell this as 2k19.5 like legit they could probably sell this as 2k19.5 i hate to be that honest but they could most definitely 100 percent could sell this as 2k19.5 all they did, this is just a, this is just 2K19 after all of its patches. This, that's all it is. It's 2K19 after all of its patches. It even looks like it. The neighborhood's the same. The little, the little the stamina bar, shot meter, all that's the same. Stamina issues is the same. It's crazy. But I'm gonna keep talking about gameplay. Read and react defense when they when they said it. They said it was gonna be some like game changing thing, right? Dude, read and react defense, it pops up after the guy moves. Like, legitimately after the guy moves. So, like, it's pointless. I thought it was going to be where you could read and react. Like, you could tell where he was pushing on. And you could bump him real quick, like they do in NBA Live. But it's not like that. It pops up way after... Oh, he broke him. It pops up way after the dude is already blown by you or, like, done something crossover like when he does a crossover you'll see it it'll be like it'll be like an orange bar right so i i don't like that oh my god dude perry is so good oh lee bro okay uh but i mean the thing is is like i don't know how I, the game gameplay itself i honestly like it i honestly I honestly do. So this is kind of biased for me. I liked NBA. Uh, I liked 2K19's gameplay. I did. I mean, 2K19 was fun for me. I mean, I didn't play it a lot, but it was fun for me. But as I started playing this game more, I started to absolutely hate it. Contact dunks are broken. I'm a slasher, and this is coming from me. Contact dunks are broken. Um, sharpshooters are having a tough time this year. Like, they have to specifically get badges. Like, as a slasher, you really don't gotta get badges. Like, I mean, yeah, you need contact finisher. At least on bronze. And I'll, as soon as you get it on bronze, it's a GG. And then if you're a guard, all you need is that and Giant Slayer on bronze, and you're straight. Right? I mean, that's perfectly fine. But the sharpshooters, they gotta get, like, their full repertoire of badges before they can legitimately say they can score. Oh, I'm pulling that from D! Ah <laughs> dang. Um, um, dribbling in this game is not even fun for me. I'm not having a fun time dribbling. It's not that I... I mean, I really can't dribble in this game. I have to, like, legitimately look up a video on how to dribble. Because, like... Like, I can do basic combos, like... Like... You know, flicking... Just flicking the stick randomly, doing, like, stuff like this. But in terms of, like actual like I'm Davis combos like cooking up I can't do that yet but I, I but I want to learn how to do it so maybe in a stream I'll come back and talk about dribbling uh, and see see if I actually got well better at it uh, ooh, pull up uh, um what else on gameplay defense I mean defense is defense you just play it to play it I mean it's kind of easy not gonna lie it's the same though. I just don't like how they hyped up um, which we call And then in the paint defense, if it's a good if it's a good defender, he'll get his he'll get his stuff. Now we gonna talk about badges. Oh boy, Jesus! Some of the badges in this game. Hold on, make sure I'm not gonna add. Okay, some of the badges in this game really don't need to be here. Quick draw don't need to be here. 
Um, quick first step, why did you make blow, blow by spats? I know I have it. I know I have it. You can look at my streams. I have it on Hall of Fame. I'm going to abuse it. But why did they make this magic get, uh, uh, thing? Now, some of the badges that are pretty broken, are, at least from my experience, from using them as Contact Finisher and Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer makes it to where pretty much any center you can go up on. Unless their name is Anthony Davis. Then don't even try it. Um, hey, yeah. Um, but Giant Slayer is pretty OP. Handles for days really doesn't do much. Like, it does a lot, but it doesn't do much. Um, ankle breaker is unnecessary. Needle threader. Dear Lord, that badge makes every pass good. Even if your pass is a total scary, it's still good if you have needle threader. Same with bailout. Bailout, what that does is if you go up for a shot and try to pass, you know, you won't. You will have less percent chance of throwing it out of bounds. Right? So for people like me, a slasher who panics a lot, I, I kind of want that badge. I'm just going to put it on bronze. I'm not going to, like, focus on it or anything. But, uh... Hmm. I'm not paying attention. Um... What else did I want to talk about? New badges. Um, Range Extender is better this year because, I mean, like everyone knows, it does do work with twos, which is pretty nice. Um, clamps. Oh, dear lord. Clamps and Intimidator. Don't get me started. That, that, that combo basically, like, locks everyone up. You don't even have to be close to them. Um, clamps. I've noticed something about clamps. I don't know if anyone else has noticed it. Clamps makes people pick the ball up this year. Like, they will pick the ball up more frequently if you have clamps. But you can't have clamps on silver. I mean, on bronze. It, that doesn't start activating until clamps on silver, which I noticed because I, I have it on gold. But clamps on gold makes it happen more often. It's almost like, almost like every time. So that's interesting. Now, brick wall screens are back. Ugh. I mean, that's pretty annoying. But every other badge that I did not mention, okay? Like, Relentless Finisher being tireless scorer uh, for layups. Stuff like that. I like them. Every other badge that I named, I like. And even the badges that some, even the badges that I did name and said that I liked, I like. But none of the badges to me seem o as OP as Giant Slayer and Quick First Step. Those two badges are absolutely broken. Absolutely broken. And maybe Hot Zone Hunter. Hot Zone Hunter is pretty good too. I know Curry has Hot Zone Hunter because he's tearing it up right now. Um. So we're off of gameplay. Now we're gonna go talk about something that I play very casually. I'm not king of the fourth quarter, so I don't do this like for YouTube. But I used to, right? Um, it's a My League series. Now if you want me to rebuild teams, I will rebuild teams. I won't do them like, I'm probably just gonna stream it. Cause I don't wanna, I mean, I will upload the stream, but I don't wanna like, you know, take over not take over, but you know, add more. I like King of the Fourth Quarter, so I'm just gonna let him do his own thing. I don't really, no, I'm not good at rebuilding, so I do it casually. But my league didn't change, but my GM has a whole like spider tree of upgrades. And it looks like it would actually be kind of fun. So I might actually do a my GM series just because I, I like what it looks like this year. Like, I like the idea of having a skill tree in my, in my GM. But I know that took a lot of freaking uh, gigs, so that's probably the reason why it's 73 gigs. The WNBA and that my GM skill tree. Now, my league didn't change, so you can't give my league a good rating, but my GM did change a lot, so I'm going to have to give that one a pretty decent rating. I mean, there's still a crap ton of cut cutscenes, so it's probably still going to be a crappy rating, but a little higher than I would have gave last year's. Um... They got rid of the story, so that's at least one extra point, I think. I think they got rid of the story. I didn't see it. Uh, that's one extra point, though. That story was garbage. Um. Hey! Um. Let's see. We're past, we're past my league. We're past all this. What 
can I say for... Is there any other game modes that I need to talk about? I already talked about my, as much as I can talk about for my team, my league, my career. Nah, I think that's it. So now we're on the rating system. Alright. I am going to give each specific game mode and some certain features a scale based on 1 out of 10. I was going to do some fancy like Agent Beam star faces, but I don't feel like editing those. Um, my career. The My Career story is long and boring. It takes forever to get badges. And lockdowns clamp you up. So I cannot give my career a good rating. It is going to get a 4 out of 10. Plus, I didn't talk about this, but day one, if you played a my career game, you would sit for 5 minutes before you could load up the next my career game. Because of like, I don't know, server issues or whatever. So that's gonna get a five out of ten, a four out of ten. I can't give it anything higher than that. I just there's nothing I can do for that. Now park, park. As the current situation of park, the speed has been fixed. Slashers are still OP on park though. So for me, I'm gonna give it a seven. For everyone else, I'm gonna give it a five. Until they fix maybe the shooting sliders, then I might come back and give it a higher rating. Um, graphics, this is the best graphics they can get before next gen, so I'm going to give it a 9 or a 10. I'm probably going to give it a 10, just because graphics are, the graphics are good. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 10, so, that, so, so that's a 4 on my career, 5 on park, 10 on graphics. My team. Big improvements this year, I'm going to give them an 8. Uh, no, I'm going to give them a 7 because of the bugs at launch where everyone was getting at Galaxy Opals. I'm going to give them a 7. But I do like my team, how it works this year. So that's for me. Um, my league, I gotta give it. I gotta give it a four because they didn't do nothing with it. I might even nah. I'm gonna give it a zero because they didn't change it. They didn't add none to my league, so I can't give it. Can't give it that high of a rating. Now, I'll give it. A, I'll give it a one. The one is because the mode is fun. Not because not because of all of because of, of anything. I'm gonna give it a one. Um. So what's up with my GM? Based on the cutscenes alone, I am going to give it a five. I like it. I like the mode, but the cutscenes at least take down five points. There's no way you can sit through those cutscenes and not get bored. But in terms of the game mode, I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay, so it's going to get an 8 in the ratings just because I feel like that's more appropriate because I'm just going to negate the, the cutscenes. Gameplay, 7.5, but I haven't done that for anything else, so I'm going to round that up. No, I'm going to round that down to a 7. I feel like the gameplay is good, but I am a slasher, so for anyone that's not a slasher, I'd give it a 6. Everyone that is a slasher is probably gonna probably gonna agree with me with a seven. Takeovers this year, takeovers are supposed to be OP, so I'm gonna give it a nine because they are doing their job. They are pretty much OP except slasher takeover. They're pretty much good. Um, that's that's just how I feel. Now we can go back over it. My career was a four. My park was a was a five or six or something. My team was in was a seven or eight. I think no, I think it was an eight. Um, graphics was a ten. My league was a one, just because they didn't add anything. And then my GM with no, my GM was an eight. Okay. And then gameplay was a seven. Takeover was a. And, or nine. I think it was a nine. Um. So with that being said, the average, like what I would give 2K this year, in terms of like, and if we're going in terms of fun, I can't give this game. <laughs> I can't give this game anything higher than a seven. 
the game truthfully is not that fun. It's it can be fun depending on who you're playing with. But it can also be pretty damn boring. So that's my rating on NBA 2K20, a 7. That's what I give it. I can't see myself giving it anything over a 7. I can actually if I can actually see myself giving it a 6. So it's either a 6 or a 7. But I can't rate it too low because, you know, NBA Live still a thing. I don't know if they're going to po- them they're going to make this one, but I mean, if NBA Live does drop then a 7 is fair for 2K because NBA Live is going to get like a 3. So I see it about 4 rankings above NBA Live. But I know I didn't talk about microtransactions because everyone talks about microtransactions. But if you add microtransactions to my list, which obviously is a 0, it's going to drop 2K20 to about a, full, about a 5 or a 6. I'm, it, okay, we're going to go with the 6. We're going to go with the 6. Just because I did forget to talk about microtransactions, and microtransactions are still a big part of this game and are still pretty broken. And we're gonna drop, and we're gonna also drop it to a six because Ronnie 2K capped. Give Agent and Davis their logos right now. If you made it to the end of this video, comment. Give Agent and Davis their logos, please. Hashtag give Agent and Davis their logos, and we out. Remember. Remember to like, subscribe, and obey. And I'm out. Peace out.